Y'all, my hair was... <gasps> I got a gauge. Did I tell you? No, I didn't tell you. So I got a gauge. Ah! My eczema is flared up looking horrible, but... Oh. Okay. Now, with this hair. My hair literally was so rough, so dry, and scalp... Mm -mm, not a vibe really itchy and flaky it was so bad that i booked a last minute haircut and protein mask appointment because i just need to get in a salon and have them really care to my hair in ways that i am just not knowledgeable enough to do so but now i'm gonna take you guys with me to go to the salon and get my hair done and let's see what we learned today hey y'all this is my first voiceover officially so i'm a little nervous but we're gonna get into it I now live in Houston. I have found a hair salon that I trust that has aesthetic, but also you can tell that they actually care about the health of our curls. The stylists are very talented. This is not my first time here, but because I have been here, I knew that this was the experience I wanted to share with you guys. If you are not new here, I appreciate you, but you know I have been needing a haircut for a minute. The shape started looking really crazy. My ends were horrible. Even if I could hide it sometimes, it was real bad. Curly cuts are not cheap. So if you're gonna spend these dollars, it needs to be worth it. And it doesn't matter if it's a salon like I went to. I went to a natural slash curly hair salon so there was several stylists there or if it's a stylist that you go to you should still be having this high caliber experience this is not sponsored this is not an ad for the salon i just freaking love it i really had to put in the work to find a, a curly stylist that i felt could cater to my hair texture which you can see here my girl is thick okay i booked a curly cut which includes the wash and go so the wash conditioning however with my colored hair i do have to keep up with protein treatments and i did one myself but for this time i decided i should just add the service and let them use their more salon grade stuff and apply it in their way so we did a protein mass um added service and then yeah it comes with the cut obviously and the wash and go at the end so some notes right off the bat booking process this salon has a nice simplistic booking site it has the prices it has services that they offer you could pick a certain stylist or you can click any and go by your time that you're available the price that you want it was very easy which i truly appreciate but you see this smile with the skin glowing i think i figured out my makeup for the summer to keep it real nice and light but still like glowy yeah next thing when you arrive energy is everything in a salon you want the stylist to be kind you want the place to be clean you you just want to have a seamless process and that was this i walked in literally to the minute of my appointment and I think over the years, everybody has gotten used to just having some type of wait time. I did not wait longer than five minutes. I got in there. She greeted me so kind it was, and took my name down. I was off for the drink and I was like, oh, what's my options? I'm thinking she gonna say water and juice. My girl said water, juice, mimosa. I said, that's what I need. They have a rose in it. The rose is in the shape of the rose, which is so cute. And the name of the salon is Salon Rose. But like I was saying, five minutes that's all i waited i just sat down took a little like two sips and then she was like okay walk with me got up went to the back and we took out my hair and she just started talking me through it what are you hoping for what shape do you want how do you usually style your hair what has your experience been lately just all these really simple but clearly trying to figure out how do i style my hair and what do i want going forward what am i hoping to achieve from this appointment. Talked me through it, she detangled my hair, and then she walked me to the shampoo bowl. And then we talked about a bang. She actually, her name is Ozell. Shout out to you, Ozell. My first curly cut in Houston, Ozell did. And that was the first time I ever had the curly girl bang and fro look. I hated it the first three months until it grew out to this just below my eyebrow length that's when i really fell in love with the bang so i told her to cut it again but we want to keep it long so they started the process but then she had her co-worker come help her and continue the shampoo process so she could go finish up one of her other girls but that was all good because you could tell 
quality people was up in here so i did not mind and it was a shampoo process i definitely feel like if i'm booking a certain stylist i want to make sure that the main purpose of my my appointment aka in this sense the cut was done by Ozell, which was the case um, later in the day. But for shampooing, conditioning, mass application, anything like that, I, you know, I think it's totally okay in a salon setting to have other people help them out. Then she went in with the protein mask. Again, love how they walk you and talk you through what they're doing. You see me close my eyes, just vibing. We have to really care for our hair. Even if you protective style a lot, there's still a certain level of maintenance to it that is really annoying. It takes a long time. So to be able to just sit down and get your head massaged and cleansed at the same time, oof, I was so happy. And she did her thing. Then they put me under the hooded dryer. Look at my little, my little mimosa. They brought it over for me, so nice. So under the dryer, we already know what it is when you sit under that dryer, baby. It's gonna be hot. She started asking me about how I usually style my hair. Whatever I've been doing has worked for me. My curls are still healthy. My hair is strong despite it being colored. Another thing I love about these, I don't wanna say higher quality, more professional, but that's what it is. That's what it feels like. These places that are cosmetologists, licensed people with business etiquette, they walk you through the services. They have good options that's not overpriced because you're paying for the service, the product, the everything. It makes sense. I hate feeling like I'm paying high quality prices for a low grade experience. That is the worst feeling ever. So to have her walk me through every step she will be taking but also be willing to share her knowledge throughout the process felt so amazing to me. All right, so scrub it up, dub, dub, dub. I don't even care how bad this angle is. I loved, I was living my best life. So here, she literally took off the heat cap. Um, I don't know what, what overhead dryer they use. It really didn't burn me. I think it's because it has more space for the hair alone. And then you're, I don't, I don't really know why, but it didn't burn me. I wasn't over here hot as hell. So she's just washing, she's just rinsing out the mask. As you can see, my hair kind of laying down, child. Yes, get that silk. My hair was in need. I was stuck in between a hydrating, I was stuck between the steaming, hydrating option they had versus the protein mask, but I truly did the protein mask because my color needed it. I needed to make sure I was maintaining it. So I'm happy I did that. And she did recommend that I use the Color Radiance Conditioner by Innersense. The good thing is I already bought it, so we're on the right path. When I asked her about shampoo, since there's so many options and I want to make sure I pick the right one, she told me to just use the Color Radiance one. She actually said that she uses the Color Radiance Conditioner even on non-color treated hair clients because of how hydrating that conditioner is, which was good. And we started talking about that shaping again. She's like, all right, I'm going to cut it now. That is like this and then we're gonna style it and we'll recut any pieces that we need to work on we're gonna start with detangling so that's what she's doing here i was just chilling 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 i asked her if she came ready for the camera because ma'am this outfit was beautiful on her it was super chill I, and that's how i dress i rather a real simplistic chill outfit but I had a little like razzle dazzle a little pop out okay and the hair was giving ozell all around was stepping okay Love, love, love their patience with my hair. Not at any time that I feel anyone tugging at my hair and it, my, my hair is thick. At this point, I really wanted to just show you guys and I'm gonna speed it up just a little bit so you guys could just see like this is what a curly stylist will look like. She did it when my hair is wet because then she could see my natural curl shape. My hair don't really do too much. That's what I'm trying to work on. It don't really have much coil and curl once it's wet it really does take product to style my hair i would like to get more of my natural definition and clumping back which is why we're moving to no heavy butters and heavy oils to see if i can get that um, i shouldn't be able to see results in six months and you guys get to join me on this journey every time i style my hair y'all know it's been a noticeable difference i specifically asked her to really get the back to match it and she said she's gonna cut it in layers and then also do my bang in the front as I wanted. So that's what she's working on right now. But I did clarify health over length. 
I'm very honest with this. I do not get cuts as often as I should. So when I do, I want my health first. My hair is gonna grow. The shrinkage is just a part of this journey. And I'd rather have shrinkage and know that my hair is bouncy and has elasticity than be dry, brittle, and ready to break. So I told her, keep as much as my length as possible, but we could go ahead and put health first and you can just cut it as you need it. I literally was alternating between singing and talking her head off because that's what you do. To be clear, especially for my black queens, it felt so good in there. And I keep talking about not only the aesthetic, but the ambiance, because I do think it's really important. Someone's going to be touching your hair. Someone's going to be doing a service for an hour plus all up in your hair. You want to know that your scalp to the tips of your hair. Shoot, your skin. You just want to know that there is like no malpractice and that you're gonna have a safe and great experience with the people that are playing up in your head. She told me I only had to take off an inch of hair, by the way. My hair was actually pretty healthy and I haven't gotten cut in six months, so she was happy with that. She said, you're doing good. Still, she wants me to transition to three to four months. Six should only be if I'm really trying to grow it out and then wanna get it cut from time to time but I should be trying to do three to four so I can maintain the true healthiness of my hair, but also the shaping will just naturally look better. Look at that. You guys see why my hair still looks dry? This is low porosity struggles. Fun fact, when she asked me if I wanted partial full, I'm like, oh yeah, full. Cause I'm thinking she meant a half bang or a full bang, child. My girl showed me what a full was, and that's when they take hair more from the centers to give it that more fuller circular, that like full circle cut. No, baby, that wasn't for me. Look at how scared I got. I said, oh, that's full? No, ma'am. That's too much, that's too much, that's too much. Let's go ahead and do partial. She was like, I wanted to make sure I showed you because the two times I've asked you, you sounded so confident and full. Bless her for showing me because I would have been shook if that much of my hair was cut that short. Just shaping it. You see, look, look that shape look better already. The back of my hair is getting a little closer in terms of shrinkage with the top of my hair. I could just have a better look all around. I don't gotta be struggling with my purple hair down to my shoulders and my nat fully natural part all the way shrunk into my head. It was stressing me out, y'all. Yeah, here. And doing some clips of Lil Dove just doing her thing. Shaping it real cute, real nice. Real fabulous. And then we jumped right in to styling. My favorite part, I love, love, love watching how they style my hair in a salon. And absolutely love the fact that I don't have to do my own hair. It's someone else that knows what they're doing, just taking care of my hair. This took two hours, great experience. Really good, in and out. Anyways, here she goes styling. She asked me if I would prefer to focus on definition or volume. I told her at home I always focus on definition. Since I am here and about to go out later, go ahead and go for volume. I wanna see what happens or what she creates. So she did. She grabbed some mousse and a spray bottle. No, gotta keep the hair wet. Again, low porosity issues. My hair literally looks dry. It looks like she's just been styling, didn't wash my hair at all, which is annoying. Look at that bun. <sighs> this is that Nairobi Rapid Shine Foaming Mousse. A lot of naturals do love this. A lot of black people, period, love this mousse. I liked it. You gonna see the end result. I liked it, it did its thing. I think I could definitely start going towards bigger pieces of hair if I'm, if I'm willing to use more product, cause she was definitely heavy handed with the product. I'm heavy handed, but based on how she did it, I'm not that heavy handed. For cheaper products, I'm willing to apply this much. Let's talk about the, the order that she went in. She had a spray bottle, so she was making sure my hair is wet. She applied the Inner Sense Inner Peace Whipped Cream Texturizer. Smooth that into my hair. Not too much, if you really watch how her hand is just grabbing it, a little dab dab, and smoothing that into the piece. She was doing thicker pieces. Wet the hair, grab the texturizer, apply that, and then a good amount, a good amount of mousse. You can see from here how wet and 
white because my hair is so coated with product. It is. But that definition, she would just grab the Demon brush. I think I need to take out one of my rows because it'd be yanking my hair too much. Nice and quick. Moves on to the front of my hair, looking so great. So the process for the front part was a bit different because she added two products here. She added a leave-in conditioner as well as the I Create Hold Gel because my hair was so thick in the front. The definition wasn't defining the way she wanted it to and she just wanted it to hold a bit better. The order for hair was water, leave-in conditioner, little dab of that texturizer, mousse, and gel on top. Sip my dang mimosa. Cheers to y'all, baby. Thank you so much for joining me. By the way, really quick, while we're here and cheersing, thank you so much for watching. You're already vibing with your girl, so I hope you like and subscribe. If you're interested in content about glowing skin, growing our hair, and all at an affordable price, come on and join me. It's a vibe over here. It's a vibe all the time. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying the content. I hope you enjoyed this little voiceover mini blog. Let me know what you think about it and keep watching. This part was fun. I had to record it more on my phone. So here's some like different clips. It's a little different angle because it's on my phone. She had me stand up and she hand diffused my hair. Had to do flip forward, flip to the side, flip to the other side, flip, 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 flip. So she felt like it was dry enough for I guess to get that movement but hold at the same time and that's what she said she said diffuse my hair but she had the dyson baby so you, mm. she said to diffuse the hair so you get hold but movement and that is what we all really want so she had me flipped around it was not that long at all and she had me sit back down under the overhead dryer Look at the little curly sue. Send me under the dryer for longer. And then at this point she went in and kind of fluffed it. Not fully picked it out per se, but fluffed it. Tried to give it some shaping with her hand before going in and cleaning it up. And she let me decide for the most part what I feel like needed to be cleaned up just a bit more. So here, I let her fluff it out, love the volume, love how it's defined yet voluminous, like you see the bigness, cute. And oh my God, the textures are finally mixing. My purple and my natural hair just looks more balanced in this shape and cut. This is the lovely lady who helps her out with her nice little dress. Um, so she was the one shampooing my hair, but Ozell just kinda let me point out some areas that needed help and she chopped it off. I didn't think too much of it help. But here we are looking like a baddie. Hey, Ozell. Anywho, she turned on the light for me. Such a gem. Such a gem. She said, go ahead and catch your content, girl. You look fire. And boom. Here y'all go. Lighting on point. Curls on point. Color on point. And death. Finishing. So happy I had a great experience with the salon again. Sometimes places are one hit wonders. This is not that. They doing a little promo right now that says you post them and tag them. You get $15 off. So yeah, I posted and got my $15 off. Paid and this came out to $175. And I tipped my girl and that was the end of it. If you have a product suggestion or video request, go ahead and comment down below because if your idea is selected, you will get a shout out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back soon. Ciao.